So despite the fact that the show's been off the air for a little while now, I'm still a, uh, a big X-Files fan and I do still miss the show. So I've created a test user here called Fox Mulder just to be able to, to demo the new interface of Teaming 3. Now when a user logs in for the first time, what he will get to is his personal workspace. Now as you can see here, Fox doesn't have that much to show on his workspace. So one of the first things we're going to do here is head to the user's profile. Now the user's profile is you know, think LinkedIn when you start building up your profile. You want to put a bit of information in there so people can find you, know what you're about. Um, in this case, for example, there's, as you can see, there's nothing in there. So we're going to start by editing the profile, the user's profile here. Wait for this to come up. And one of the first things I want to do is I want to let everyone know, you know, what it is that I look like actually. So I'm going to put a picture in here. Simply click OK. Let the profile refresh, and already this is starting to look a little more interesting. But let's put a bit more information now. What is Fox about? What is he up to? Um, email address. Well, let's put fmulder at fbi.com. Um, about me, um, chief ufologist. My sister. Kidnapped by little green men. My job title, I'm an investigator. And state and postal code and so on. For example, phone number where I can be reached in case you see the little green men. And so on, you can fill in all those field responsibilities while chasing down the little green men. And when I'm done putting in my information, I simply click OK. My profile gets refreshed. And here we go. Now people can start emailing me. They know where to reach me. They know what I'm about and what's happened to me, what my responsibilities are. And you can go on and fill in as much information as you can. Now, obviously, as the user starts participating into the teaming website, he'll be part of teams, he'll be part of groups, he'll be following people, and so on. But like any social networking site, building up your profile, your followers, and your following is, um, is a, a bit of a task when you begin. Let's go back to the workspace. And as we can see, we're not, you know, we're not following anybody here. I'm a new user on the system. I don't have you know, too much of a status here going on. Um, just like a lot of the social networking sites here, I can put in a, um, a status update. So for example, I can tell everyone that I am working on building up my teaming profile. And let me spell teaming right. I don't want people to get the impression that Fox can't spell. And I will share this. Now, how do we start following people? We can go to the personal workspaces here. And one of the first things I'm going to do is head, up, head out to Jacques uh, workspace. And I'm interested in what uh, Jacques does for work and what he's uh, all about, so I'm going to follow him. And I also heard that another one of my colleagues is very interesting, uh, Mathieu. So I'm going to head over to his profile and follow him. And now, if I go back to my workspace, As you can see, I now have a little more information. In this case, I've got the status updates and what some of these people that I'm following have been up to. It also gives me quick links to their workspaces if I want to go and see some more details. I also have tasks and calendars here if I've got anything going on. Obviously, at this point, I'm just starting my profile, so there won't be much in there. Microblogs and shared items. I will see the status updates of the people that I am following. So as Mathieu and Jacques update their statuses, I will be up to date on what they're up to. So as you can see, teaming is social networking for the enterprise. It's secure, it's easy to use, it uses concepts that everybody's familiar with uh, through using LinkedIn, Twitter, even Facebook, you know, status updates, following people, um, all that stuff is very easy to use. Everybody already knows how to use that stuff. So you just imagine 
bringing that into the enterprise in a safe, secure way and allowing your users and your employees to work together and collaborate. So on the next video, we'll, uh, we'll head into um, creating a workspace and all the folders that are involved in a workspace. All right, thanks.